Good morning! I feel like it's been quite a while since I've done a vlog and follow me around, so I'm going to try to do it today. I did have some plans later today that I decided not to do, so the second half of my day won't be too exciting. But usually I finish up by either going to ballroom dance lessons, or like tonight when I was going to go to a rodeo, but I really need a night in so I can do some cleaning and catch up here. Right now it is about 6.15 in the morning and I'm pretty proud of myself, I'm already ready for the day. This year, at least I say this right now, it is only like mid-March, I'm going to try to stay wearing my sun shirts because I don't want to be um, really like leathered and wrinkled when I get old so I'm trying to protect myself from the sun and I can definitely see the difference I mean today it's gonna be a high of like 88 or 89 um, my hands are definitely more tan than the rest of me I have this sun shirt from smart pack yeah as of right now I am riding 12 11 or 12 might be 11 a day um, I do have another one that's getting added on next week so then that number is gonna go up but tomorrow I'm showing one of the horses that's for sale I still live in my wonderful camper um, it's been six years maybe I really hope to get better at uploading to YouTube this year I'm trying to catch up on my Mustang videos I have until day six filmed and then everything else after that is kind of just like a group of videos together that I filmed on my phone I have not been the best at filming my chestnuts I will say I'm kind of just like in the moment with them and they're not in intense like 100 day makeover training they're more training like a normal training horse <laughs> but I will show some of them today a little cleaning session before going up to the barn I'm gonna try to do the rest later I still have to do the shower but sink is all done good morning truck she needs some work done on her so that'll get done this week I think She's These guys are so pretty. They bloom basically only in March, so they're probably gonna die in a week or two, but they're really pretty. No pretty sunrise today. It's just very faint. Oh, it kind of has a pretty little pink cloud in there. I usually start right off the bat with the eight stall barn. I have four horses in here that get done and then eventually six because when I move these guys out more guys come in and almost always I start my day with Rue. Huh, because she's a little bit buddy sour, hi. So I like to have her done first so she can go stand out in the paddock alone for a little bit or get tied up. When I do each horse, this is usually my time of day to update the owner, either right before I do them or after. And I try to do this like twice a week at least. If they just came in, I'll probably do a couple more times a week, but um, just twice a week right now. So I need to plan a day for her to go to an obstacle area because really for her age, she's as advanced as she's going to get in the arena. She's doing pretty well. She needs it is more off-farm stuff and more exposure and obstacles will do that for her. We brought her off-farm twice and ridden her on trail. And I think one time we did in-hand obstacles, like really early on training. But uh, I wanna get her off and do obstacles in-hand at another place and do some under saddle stuff, which is good because there's a couple other ones that need to go there. Today, she's just gonna do a short under saddle ride, uh, probably just to walk around the farm too. Rue had a lovely ride in the arena. And now we're just going around between the paddocks, enjoying the little sunrise, huh, Rue? She's a good girl. I'm trying to today focus on my posture. I remember that every, you know, few days of the week. I don't have awful posture, but I'm trying even just like walking around between paddocks. And every time I'm sitting on a horse, my posture is okay, but like I can be even better with it. So trying to be very aware of that today and just be mindful and kind of setting my head back a little bit further because people tend to like lean forward into it I think part of the problem was phones but trying to remember to just like stand super tall with my spine the thing I'm trying pretty hard to get dang good at is 
either oiling, conditioning, or cleaning the track after using it. So after every single horse goes, I'm going to do the bridle. Yesterday, I don't know if I'm in frame. No, I am. Yesterday, I oiled, or maybe it was two days ago, I oiled everyone's bridle after I used it. So today, I'm going to condition them. And I know I should do it the proper way, where you clean it first, and then condition it, and then oil it. But honestly, the fact that I'm just doing something to it is pretty good. I did have an experience that made me realize that it was a little bit more important to keep up with that. It's balancing on myself, so I apologize for that. This is Rain. I don't think she's been in any of my videos before. She was bred and born here. Hi. Spicy girl. She got started in January. She's super fun. Um, sometimes she loses it on the ground and gets really, really hot. She's not naughty. She's hot. She's a very hot horse. But when I'm on her, for the most part, she's super well behaved. But then I could dismount and her friend is screaming and then she kind of freaks out. So we're working through that right now. But riding her, she's so light and like the perfect type of sensitive and fun and forward. And she's really, really fun to work with. All right. Hi, oh, yeah. Oh, you rainy, huh? Yeah. You so fun. She likes to sleep in her stall in the morning, so I try not to do her like first. They only come in to eat. They live outside. We let our horses be horses here, but um, she does like to sleep in the shavings. So I try to give her a moment to do that if she would like. I don't even know what she looks like riding. I don't think anyone's ever watched me ride her. Actually, that's not true. Someone watched me ride her the first day I brought her out of the round pen, but I don't think anyone's watched me ride her since. So, I don't know if I can try to set my phone up. I'd like to see her ride. You wanna see yourself ride? Oh, you so cute. Bloods. And then this is Euros. He is an Andalusian. He was born here as well. And he's being cult started Western because he's going to go live in Colorado and be a little mountain trail horse. So he has to learn all of the things like highline tying and hobbling and packing stuff around. Uh, he's doing really good. And he's still in the round pen. He hasn't been um, in training for quite as long. He's learning how to canter without a ground person. So he's been introduced to the stick on his shoulder. Set anything up? He's doing real good. Yeah, you're gonna start leaving the round pen pretty soon. What do you think about that? Maybe tomorrow. He was a very good kid. I'm gonna just put up maybe like two or three braids in his mane to try to tame it over this way. Oh, he's so handsome. If I didn't do this one, like midday in with all the other horses, he just wouldn't get done. So I gotta chuck him in the middle of the day. Kind of force myself to do him. Not that I don't love riding him or working him. He is super fun. But obviously the client horses come first. And I will go a little bit longer with my day if I need to do a client horse. So I need to do him in the middle or at the start. Don't shake it off. Otherwise, he doesn't get done at all. I guess I should mention really quick what this is about. Uh, Lynx and actually Snacks right now are getting treated for ulcers. Oh my god, that droopy lip. 
Pixel has already been treated for ulcers. I like to treat all my Mustangs when they first come in and Lynx gets treated once a year because of all the traveling he does. He gives me a really tiny sign when he looks like he's starting to get them and it just helps him feel better. So here is his ulcer treatment and of course followed up with cookies. This is Stella, which you guys may have seen before. Um, this is going to be our possibly last ride. Yeah, if you sail tomorrow. Except for when I'm showing her tomorrow to the people, but she might sell. If not, there's some other people interested in her. Um, all of the English ones have been getting tacked up in my limo pad from Riding Warehouse. And because that one's getting slightly destroyed it's not bad but like it has enough wear on it for that to come off and the rest of it it's starting to get a little bit dingy so I recently got a new limo pad so when this one gets sweaty today because it already feels like it's 80 degrees out and I'm not even halfway done <laughs> yeah still we watching all the deer jump Rue, what'd you do to your head? Goodness gracious. Donkey, didn't you just get done? What you doing hanging out? I've been trying to start earlier because it's already almost 10.30. Um, and I have other things that I need to do today aside from all the training horses so hopefully I start making some good headway I don't feel like I'm getting distracted but I gotta pick up the pace a little bit Thomas did good we worked on adding straightness to our back up today not adding it i guess working on it because we've been working on added a little bit more speed to the back up and now it's straightness tommy was in training from october to december and then he was off two months but now that he's trying to be sold it's a good idea to keep him in work so he's in half work right now miss ebony here is another quarter horse and she learned her first tying session yesterday so today because it's starting to get a little bit toasty and she gets overheated pretty easily she's learning how to tie and i promise she's not that downhill she, there's just you know they dig because that is the patience tree that they all learn to tie at so she's not that downhill hi huh, ab you figuring it out aren't you so i'm gonna leave her here and go do izzy this is Izzy. She's getting a bath today. She hasn't had a full bath since she's been in training. And it's really hot today. And she's one that gets sweaty quick. So today's spa day for her. She gets full pampering and her tail brushed out because that thing is a bit. It's thick. Oh, Izzy, you look so cute. I actually did all of her braids. Yeah, you didn't just get three this time. Now you get to go dry off. This is Jet, who you can't see, so what a fitting name. <laughs> and he's a cult start. My last three are my green beans. I mean, they're all green, but green is beans. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go out and ride him. I probably won't get any video. He feels so slow when I'm on him, like his canter just is very, very slow. But I'd rather, not that he's like behind the leg, but I'd rather one be a little bit slower as a green colt than speedy, so I can't complain. This horse doesn't need too much of an introduction. Honestly, she probably doesn't need to be round penned before I get on anymore, but uh, we're just going to do a little bit today. And I probably won't get on her in here. I'm going to get on her in the arena. 
That'll be her third time with me in the arena. She's fairly relaxed because she is wanting to lay down really bad right now. We just finished our ride. She was good. She definitely, I just ride her down at that half right now. No, no. I ride her down at that half. So she wants me to bring her to this half because she thinks it means rest or not as much. So we have to, we got to ride down over here tomorrow, don't we? Fix. Fix. Oh, you want to put your head on? Yes, please. Yes, please. You want, you want a head hug? Mm. Oh no, Pixel. What are you going to do being loved all the time? Oh, your head's really heavy. All right, you need a hose down. You can do this in sweaty areas too, on your chest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just have a feeling that she really wants to roll. So before I put her out there with the bullies that beat her up, I'm just gonna wander around in here with her and see how she feels. You're all right, go for it, Pix. Yeah, nice and dirty. Nice and dirty girl. She's gonna be easy to teach the lay down to. She doesn't have much fear about laying down near me. Do you need to get to your other side? How do you feel? Yeah? Oh, doesn't she look so pretty after her bath? Pretty Izzy. I shed out like a bunch more hair. That wash rack's gonna be a lot to spray out. Sinatra, aka Snacks. I really just call him Snacks. He only gets called Sinatra when he's in trouble. This is the last one of the day. This is the boy. All three of my guys, Lynx, Pixel, and him, got done by the myofascial lady three days ago. They were all really good. Lynx, of course, he's been done before by her, but the two new guys were good. Very good kids, were very well behaved, and they both really needed it. Um, basically, you get myofascial work done, and then that kind of loosens up uh, muscles and area of the body that way when adjustments are made if they're needed by the chiropractor they stay better rather than the muscle that's in this um, familiar pattern kind of pulling everything back to where it was when it was incorrect so if you can get the muscle work done first and then have the chiropractor come and adjust and then again if you need the myofascial work done you would have it done but uh, yeah so links <laughs> there's two of them that need chiropractor links is one of them because Dum Dum was running around in the field after a bath and just completely wiped out on his side, like just lost the footing beneath him, was playing, and just slid on his side. And I'm like, nice. That's great, Link. Stood back up, started running around like a fool again. He's fine. He's sound. He's, he's good. But obviously when they impact the ground that hard, um, something gets a little bit pushed out of place. So he needs Cairo. And then she was thinking my mare was going to need it, but she ended up being... All right, she thinks she's fine with just the myofascial, and he needs it really bad because he's got a strong neck. This guy, he's he's thick. He's got a big neck. But anyways, I'm going to tack him up, warm him up, get on, give him a little bit of a ride. I don't know if I'll be able to video any of it. Uh, that's the thing about being by yourself. You don't really have anyone that can video things for you. So no one's at the bar now, so I'm really out of luck. But we'll see if I can prop my phone up or camera up somewhere so I can get a little bit of him for you guys. I love when I try to get video and my camera focuses on the fence post the whole time. This is blurry and useless, but enjoy the few clips of my horse being a blurry mess. He looks cute still.
by at 2 o'clock, almost on the dot. And I just got to put him out and Izzy and Ebony. He got a little hose down, huh, sweetness? Now my day will consist of working out, which has been a little bit on the back burner for some reasons that I'll discuss when I'm working out today. I'm doing fairly low intensity today um, since it's my first day back into it. But uh, yeah, that's the next thing before I lose all energy and motivation to be out in the heat. And the great thing about working out is we actually have a gym here at the farm. It's our little little gym with equipment in the garage. So all I have to do is go down, turn my AC on in my camper so it's cool when I get back in there. Oh, just kidding, I need to clean that out. All right, it's kind of disgusting, but it's gonna get done and it's gonna get done fast. Nowhere near perfect, but it's heaps better. All right, so I have this challenge with myself to run one mile a day every single day this year, no matter what. Even if I like have to walk at one time, which I haven't yet, except I'm not trying to be too hard on myself. I missed the past two or three days. Now, I haven't worked out in like a week, but I was really consistent. I didn't miss a single day in February. I worked out every single day. Um, Focusing on different body parts, not like exhausting one or the other, kind of doing it like how people properly do it, where you have a day where it's like leg day and then like back and bicep, chest and tricep and core. I do a lot of core, but I uh, had a fall last week and it was probably one of my worst ones. I'm not going to name names of what horse I came off of, but I landed on my head and neck and it's the only time I've fallen off where I haven't immediately like rolled and basically fell off rolled and stood back up immediately i literally sat there i got to this position and i'm like well let me take a second because i just landed on my neck oh i'm not in the sun now i can like actually breathe and it made me kind of think for a second and i was like well that was scary so that's one reason why i am also conditioning all my tack and being really aware of that because I think I could have also prevented this if my rain hadn't of snapped as I was mid um, trying to stay on the animal. My rain snapped. I got a bunch of rains that were in my trailer that haven't been used in a while but have been kept in good condition and they're all getting conditioned right now. I should keep stretching otherwise I'm gonna get behind. Yeah, so that snapped. That was pretty unfortunate. <laughs> and then I came off, landed on my head and neck. I did finally make time and get x-rays two days ago because my friend, who's also my chiropractor, had been kind of nagging me about it just to like make sure there's not some sort of hairline fracture. I think it's all muscular because every single day it's a different body part that hurts. All related to my spine. I had really bad lower spine like sensitivity two of the days, but it's been about a week, a little, maybe like one day past a week since I came off. Um, and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling just fine. So. I'm sore, but I haven't been working out because basically every th single thing that you do working out somehow engages your neck or puts strain on your neck. It's really hard to not involve the neck. So um, yeah, I didn't want to make it worse. And I did make myself run the day that I fell off like afterwards at a really slow pace, but I need I needed to take it easy because I haven't laid off riding the horses at all. I haven't missed a single day with them. They've been ridden. Heck, I taught a clinic literally like a day or two after I came off, you know, that's more important than tiring myself out and my muscles and then really not being able to do anything. But I've been really consistent in here, so I'm really happy. Today, I'm doing a bunch of really low energy exercises. Like I'm already sweating because it's hot out, but I think if I was doing it on a cold day, I probably wouldn't sweat. It's mainly just to get myself back in the routine of coming down here because it's been a week 
and I'm kind of bummed out about that. And I'm not gonna be like a gym YouTuber and show you videos of everything I'm doing. I might just video like one of them a little bit, but I definitely have been seeing results and I feel stronger and better about myself since I have started being consistent working out. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that. I still finished my run under nine minutes. I think it was 8.55, so not too bad. Time to get all of the bookwork and stuff inside done now. Now it's time for the super fun part of my day, which actually I don't do that often, which is why I need to do it today instead of going to a rodeo. I'm gonna do like the basic housekeeping stuff, bookkeeping stuff, so I'm gonna do some of my taxes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean a specific area and then do a little bit more, clean a specific area, make a clinic flyer, clean a specific area, go back and forth so I can break it up for myself, but this is my computer right here. I'm all ready to go. I also need to edit this video, that way I don't just have all this footage sitting around, that would be nice. And this was great, on my run, whenever I run up to the barn and then back down, I need to go to the mailbox and back, one, to check the mail, and two, to reach my mile. But Look what came in the mail. Ah, my overnight oats. Really exciting. I've had to eat normal oatmeal this morning and yesterday morning because I ran out. But overnight oats gives you 20 grams of protein. I'm not sponsored by them, but they are a really yummy, delicious breakfast. And I'm a big fan and I'm very excited that my package came in because I have been missing my protein oatmeal. That's a lot healthier than the packaged oatmeal from the store. Okay, I have done all of my taxes. Just have to make some clinic flyers and probably do computer work for like two more hours because I need to edit. But I cleaned some in here. I broke up my tasks. I didn't get off track and today was a successful day. So just some more computer work, but that's all boring stuff. You guys don't want to see that. Thank you for kind of checking out what my day looks like.